good morning welcome to a new week of vlogging with me actually i don't know how long this vlog is gonna be so maybe it will be more than a week i don't know i decided that this week i will do a book related vlog i have been sharing about books a little bit on my instagram and on my french youtube channel and so i wanted to share more about books with you guys because what a great time to be reading a lot of books um, and I've been into reading so much since the start of the new year. I also started a Goodreads account so if you want to check what books I'm currently reading, uh, what books I've read, the reviews I've given to the books I've read, my favorite books, uh, books I want to read or give me some recommendation you can follow me on there so I will put my Goodreads down below. It's a great place to read about books, find out new books. The book that I'm currently reading at the moment is Into the Wild by John Krakauer and this is a true story. I didn't know it was a true story. It was made into a movie so you may have seen the film which I haven't seen it yet so I decided that I would read this and then after what I watched the movie probably be done with it today or tomorrow because so, I started already over the weekend um, and I'm kind of like halfway and it's super super fun I, I mean it's not really fun like it's not a very happy story but it's just such a great adventure book and I never really read one before I think or not that I can remember and so far I really like it. In this vlog I'm also going to be sharing meals and whatever I'm up to this week. Um, it's going to be rainy I think after today so uh, let's see what we're get up to. I'll have a lot of work and projects to work on um, but yeah um, I'm excited to spend the week together. Also I did plant a few seeds the other day. We have basil here which is slowly coming out um, here in the middle I have parsley and then here is cress which is really tall already and I've received some questions about these um, they're actually from a supermarket in Switzerland here so I don't really know how you can get them I think you get them with like the stickers that you collect by shopping there so yeah hi guys um, so I've been working like all day i haven't taken the time to read yet uh, but i'm taking a little bit of a break and i thought since i didn't show you like my breakfast or lunch today i had um sourdough toast that david made with tofu scrambled with mushrooms and spinach and it was really delicious so david made that um and now i'm having like an afternoon snack which is kind of like a lunch <laughs> it took me literally one minute to make and it's just some oatmeal with raisins uh, cinnamon some vanilla chia pudding strawberries almonds coconut yogurt uh, cacao nibs and the drizzle on top is um, date syrup A little walk oh, well Whew. um it's actually the first time 
I go for a walk here, usually I go run or like for a proper workout. But I'm wearing like a big sweater. It looks like it's really warm, but um, and it is warm when going uphill, but it's really not that hot compared to the other days. I mean, we'll see. If it stays that warm, I might go into the lake after. But yeah, I just thought I'd come out for a little bit, read my book. I took my book with me. I'm currently reading The Fifth Agreement. Um, and the first part does feel like The Four Agreements, which I read already. So I think I'm gonna skip the first part or like read it really fast because it's just a repetition of what I already read at the start of this year. Uh, but if you didn't read The Four Agreements, I think you should read it all. Um, and it's great. And maybe you should skip the four agreement, just read that one. I don't know. I was a little bit confused because I saw that, um, the beginning of the fifth agreement book was very similar to the four agreements and it was kind of repeating all the, all, all of the four agreements one after the other. I was like, is it just the four agreements? And then, you know, is it just the same thing? I think it's not, but it... If you've read it, it sounds like a repetition of it, which it really is. Um, and I looked at, that's why I looked it up online. That's what people were saying in like the reviews and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go through this quite fast, the first part, and then I'll really focus on the second part. Um, yeah. Um, I just came back from my walk and as you saw today I already started a new book but I wanted to talk about um, this book first because I finished it this morning and I didn't give you guys a little bit of a review. I really really enjoyed that book. It was a page turner definitely in some instances and although we know from the beginning what happens we want to know how and why and all that stuff and kind of like understand it's basically also like a gathering of testimonials from people who knew chris uh, the guy that went on the adventure there were in few times there were some um moments where it just felt like it was going on and on about other similar stories of young men uh, who went on expeditions or adventures or even the, the actually the author of the book uh, tells one of his own story to draw sort of like conclusions or comparison to what happened to Chris and maybe figure out what was going on in his mind uh, which I did enjoy but in some places it did feel like it was a little bit too much uh, like too many details of a new story in that already existing story to bring up not really many details or very valuable information like it was all just suppositions i guess um but i really enjoyed the part where the story is told through the author and then through the journal entries that they found uh from chris the main character and then um also from all the people that met him on his trip there's also some letters that were sent some passages of other books that were uh, highlighted and mentioned so yeah it was a very rich uh, book it, it was just great I loved it I really really loved it so yeah highly recommend that one now I'm reading the fifth agreement and I'm probably gonna finish it tonight but I'll talk about it tomorrow I guess now I'm gonna go shower and make dinner and yeah I'm spending a night um, in by myself David is out tonight, so it's the first time I'm all by myself um, in a very long time. But it's really good to just chilling and doing the things I want and taking things slow. Good morning, guys. Um, 
so I took a slow start this morning because I don't know, I was just feeling tired and I went to bed late last night. So I read my book. I'm not finished, but I'm gonna be finished soon. Now I just took a shower. I'm getting ready. So I just put some I just cleanse my skin in the shower. Then I put some toner and then I put um moisturizer the moisturizer have been using actually yeah the moisturizer i've been using is this i think it was the same in my other vlog uh vitamin c cream and it's not a big jar yeah it does last quite a while um and it's a really nice moisturizer because it makes your skin look glowy and it does hydrate very well but it doesn't have like a, a oily feel to it or heavy so it's really nice i have to say i'm not gonna put like any concealer or makeup on today i'm just gonna brush my bras it's really interesting to be reading like another book from oh sorry that's my phone it's very funny to be reading another book from Don Miguel Ruiz at the moment because I read the two other ones well I read The Mastery of Love two or three years ago and I read The Four Agreements at the start of this year and somehow I don't know I'm just in such a not self-help book kick like I'm all I want to read right now is fiction or like stories inspired from true stories or memoirs and things like that but yeah for some reason i'm not or maybe it's just not the right book for me right now i don't know it it is a really good book though um it's just i don't know i've just been enjoying the other books i've been reading and discovering new topics and stories and a whole new narrative and storytelling and somehow like now it just feels normal I'm just gonna use a little bit of lipstick so I can look a bit alive but yeah I guess just for so long I thought that um, fiction books were just nothing but distractions and just pure entertainment but there's actually a lot we can re learn from them. Um, not all of them, but some of them. And I feel like I really opened up my mind when it comes to books and what I can enjoy. Uh, and still, like I really haven't read that much. Um, but I picked a lot of books from different genres so that I can try and see. And I think that with reading more books i will also start enjoying um movies more and fiction movies more last night i watched um a film from a book that i read recently which is um in english it's called delicacy from um david von kinos david von kinos von kinos i don't know how you say his name i don't even know where he's from uh but I really liked the book Delicacy and they made a whole movie about it like a while ago. It's quite an old movie, but it was really nice. I really enjoyed it. That's all I do for makeup. I use lipstick as blush and lipstick <laughs> and that's it. Oh, and I have my hair like tied. I did like two braids to sleep last night and this morning I was like, okay, I'm just going to leave my hair like this. I don't have to touch it, do anything. It's Perfect, I should do that hairstyle more often. Oh, oh gosh, my legs are so sore from yesterday's workout. I can't even like fold them and like sit on the floor. When I sit for too long and then I start walking, it's painful. <laughs> um, we're, I have had a long work day today. It was really fun. I started late too, so. Um, but now we're in the kitchen with David. I mean, he's in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm right here with you guys. Um, but I'm gonna go join him and we're making a uh, sourdough pizza tonight. So, <sighs> very excited. I'll take a shower.
and then watch a movie or something and finish my book because I'm almost done with it. So tomorrow I can start something new. Everybody. So I wanted to talk to you guys um, I wanted to keep vlogging first of all because I skipped yesterday. I had a big uh, day of work and I finished um, The fifth agreement yesterday. It was a little bit underwhelming. I have to say um, for the following reasons this book has two parts and the first part is a repetition of what the four agreements are so if you read the four agreements a really long time ago it is great because it kind of leads to what's coming up next but if you just read it yet recently it just feels very repetitive and redundant if you haven't read the four agreements yet you could only get that book i guess and just like have an idea of all agreements all together instead of getting the two books so yeah that was like a little bit what disappointed me in this book also i read all of these other books in english and that one i read in french and maybe in terms of the traduction and i don't know there was just some things that i didn't love as much the way it was written another thing that i did dislike about it is more about me is not the book itself because i still believe it's a great book and i really loved um, the Mastery of Love and The Four Agreements from the same author, Don Miguel Ruiz, which I think is ama are amazing books and I would recommend absolutely to anyone. But I just feel and have been feeling like I'm not in a self-help book kick at the moment. I don't know, I just can't really get into them. Uh, I don't find them fascinating. Um, I've read a lot of self-help over the past few years and I guess I'm just over it now at some point and not that I'm never gonna read self-help anymore it's just I guess I just need something different in at this point in my life right now and I have to embrace it um, so yeah maybe that's why also like I guess you will love a book depending on when you read it and like if anything this book really encourages me to meditate more um and just be more present and rethink the way i communicate sometimes but it it just felt like i read it in the wrong time so i might read it again at another time i still highly recommend the book i think it's great um, if you have a fluent English, I highly recommend you read it in English. And I just did some yoga this morning, um, and now I'm gonna go and take a bath and start, um, the new book that I picked for this weekend. And I'll share it with you. I just came out of the shower and the bath and it was so good um, I wanted to talk about the new book that I'm reading and while I'm doing that um, I'm gonna do my skincare so the book that I picked um, for this weekend and however long it takes me to read it is called The Bookstore by Deborah Mailer and it's a novel it is set in new york and it talks about a girl called esme who moved to manhattan and starts studying art history at columbia university she will start also working at a bookstore apparently she gets pregnant um i don't really know what's gonna happen in it i'm like really only a few pages in um but i decided to pick that one because i have not been reading a lot of 
uh, English books. But I do have a bunch of English books in my bookshelf over there and I want to get into them but I wanted to pick an easier read. That's the shower. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I wanted to pick an easy read first, um, easy English read first before I get into these other books that I picked up because they are um, a little bit different than the books I'm used to read um, and I want to like enjoy them fully and understand them fully and yeah, I guess I just need something a little bit entertaining and not too heavy. Um, you know, I read before that, I read that self-help book, and then I read um, the true story uh, from Into the Wild. And I was, although it was very entertaining, it was very more intense read, not in the vocabulary, but more in terms of the story. So, and we'll see if I like it. Also, you know, I think that um, since I've been on Goodreads and discovered Goodreads, uh, I've been reading a lot of like feedback and reviews about books before getting into them and the truth is I think it's good and bad in the sense that you know if it's a really poorly rated book I mean I'm not saying you, there's no chance you will enjoy it but you're kind of ha taking less risk at taking up uh, time of yours and energy into a book that's maybe not worth it but eventually it's up to you to decide whether you like it or not and I think that even like like averagely rated books where there's really like different opinions from people who really loved it from people who really hated it or just people who found it boring um, eventually it just comes down to you when you read it if you enjoy the, the story if you can relate to the characters and I think that when you read or pay too much attention to the reviews, that may prevent you from actually reading a book that you may enjoy actually um, and really like. So that was a bit the case with this. Um, maybe I'm not going to like it. Maybe I'm going to love it. I don't know. There were some good and bad reviews. So I'm very open to see if it's for me or not. Because uh, I'm feeling a little bit tired and fatigued from this week. And I just want to like relax, but relax my mind as well with the book and not have to focus too much about it. All right, I'm gonna go get dressed. Just made some lunch. David is having pizza. What's so funny about it? Why do you feel like that? So I'm having pasta. This is chickpea pasta. Chloe is pissed because I'm doing pizza and she doesn't want to eat butter. The other day I had a pizza and a half and I felt so sick afterwards. So I tried, I decided that I won't be eating gluten at home anymore, even from sourdough for now because my body is just hating it. Um, so I made pasta, tomato and coconut sauce and veggies. There's some asparagus, mushrooms, zucchini, nutritional yeast, and some basil, and salad and tahini. There's two things I want to show you today, which I discovered recently. First thing is this organic raspberry coated dark chocolate that I found at um, Aldi, and it's like this and inside it's a freeze-dried raspberry and another thing is vegan sticky natural handmade chai latte blend chai tea and this is from a brand called prana chai and it's amazing it smells so good and it's just pour water over it. Then I like to, I know this is not made to do this, but I'm gonna just stick it in there a little bit. Good morning. Um, I hope you're doing well. I 
I'm making some chai latte. This one's cold. I'm just pouring some hot water into it. Don't judge my tea and coffee skills. Um, I just need to drink something warm. And I was actually starting to work in my office, but then some light came in the living room. And so I thought I need to just sit here and do some work here. Let me try and make this work. I'm feeling a little bit cold because I took a shower and my hair is wet and although it's such a lovely sunny day outside it's still quite chilly I was I saw the balcony all in the sunshine this morning I was like oh that's a great place to make my invoices um, a less boring task but it's actually cold outside so I'll go out later mm. So I just have some tea and I have a notebook here. I don't know where. I need to put more post-its because I don't remember where I put what. But basically, I am working on my apartment makeover. So I've put like all, I've used like a page for each room so I can take notes. I also want to do like a little floor plan of each room um, before I like start planning what to add and remove and what I want to change. To be honest, I'm quite happy with our apartment so far. I think it's just very nice and homey and cute. But there's a few pieces me missing. Uh, there's a few things that we already own um, that we want to place on the walls. We haven't really like done like holes in the wall at all. And we want to like hang a few, like a little bit of art. We want to put some shelves on the wall. Like we have to find a way of like where we want to put what and if we want to get extra stuff like where we we're gonna do that. So I'm just like looking through inspiration, then like, okay, deciding where I'm gonna get what. We've been, a lot of the furniture, if you watched our apartment tour, a lot of our furniture is secondhand, uh, especially like the big pieces. So we're not gonna purchase new big pieces, uh, but when it comes to decoration, lamps are really hard to find here in Switzerland, like really nice lamps secondhand that are fairly priced because a lot of the time what I've seen on um, Facebook marketplace is that people like just charge so much money for a lamp that you can buy for like five bucks more from you um, and I know like there's that like the sustainability aspect but then if you have to drive like super far away to go pick it up it just doesn't make really much sense to me so there might be a few things that we get new um, but anyways, right now I'm just like taking notes um, because I want to do a, a whole video about the process of, you know, upgrading our apartment, making over our apartment. We're not going to completely change it. As I said, like we're not getting rid of like big pieces of furniture or anything like that. But it's just about like really f um, finishing it, decorating it, hanging curtains. Um, hanging some art and some shelving and um, we might also work around the floor plan a little bit I don't know I just there's just so many possibilities and yeah so if you guys have any recommendations or tips on how I can make that whole process easier um, if you have any like great Instagram accounts for inspiration if you know some sustainable furniture shops um or online secondhand furniture shops um or anywhere in switzerland uh just let me know because i'm definitely looking into that and i want to invest like i don't want to invest a lot of money in it but i do want to invest in pieces that i know i will love and we've kind of like how the apartment is now is like david and i both brought a lot of our things into it and we made it all work somehow and we did purchase a few things together but now it's about like really decorating it making it feel like a, a really nice cozy home and 
um, really tying it, it all together because now it just feels a little bit like, you know, like everything is put in its place but there's a few things that are missing in my opinion, I don't know. I'm just gonna take a few notes of that, do some research. Um, I have to send invoices today, which I mean, I'm very lucky to have that I'm able to do this as a job, but it's a very boring task that I have to do and I have been putting it off. So I'm gonna do that t this morning and I wanted to film a video, but uh, we'll see because there is doing they're doing some construction noises outside, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, and before I get started, I need to upload the new podcast. I completely forgot about this. I was going to do it last week, but then like it just was too late. So I'm going to end the vlog here regarding the bookshop. Is it called a bookshop? Bookstore? The book that I'm reading. Um, I'm only like 50 pages in. I didn't really read that much this weekend. Yeah, so I don't know how it's gonna be. So far, I can't say like I'm fully in it, otherwise I would have read a lot more than that. But I'm gonna be taking more time this week to get into it and hopefully finish it because I have some other books that I really wanna read. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.